Hello, welcome back to the channel. This is a, another quick review, very, very quick review of the the new board game, sort of new board game called Wingspan. And um, what we're going to do on this one, we're going to give you a quick overview of the rules and then we will tell you what we like, what we don't like about this one. And then we'll give you a quick summary and tell you whether or not we recommend whether you should buy it or whether you should buy it, whether you might enjoy it or not. And if you enjoyed this video, if it was informative and you liked it, then take a moment to subscribe do that while I run up the stairs for no reason at all. Board games 4K. So Wingspan, I mean, the, uh, the theme of this one is, is, is to do with ornithology and uh, bird watching. And um, on this one, you're going to be um, using your, your action cubes. You get eight to start with, and you'll be taking one of four actions in the, in the game. And it, it takes place over four rounds. So um, it, the first action you can do is you can play a bird in your hand. At the beginning of the game, you're going to have a certain amount of birds in your hand. And you'll take the action and you'll play the bird card dependent on what habitat it, it lives in. So you might have might live in the forest, it might live in grassland, or it might live in wetland. You place it down and then that's all you're going to do. And the second action you can do, do is you can gain food and you need to gather different types of food in order to play birds in the first action we just talked about. So you, you're gathering food and what you're doing, you've got this, uh, this sort of bird box and acts as a dice tower and you're going to you're going to roll dice in this dice tower and you're going to each one of these dice each side has got a type of, of food and you're going to take the dice out of the tray and you're going to take the food and put it in front of you so the third action you can do is you can lay eggs and you need also need a certain type of eggs to use if you're going to play birds because the more birds you play in that certain type of habitat you're going to need eggs to actually get them out on the board and then the fourth action you're going to do you're going to you're going to draw cards from the from the display you're going to have three cards face up and you're going to draw them and you're going to take them into your hand that's the only way one of the only ways that you can you can get extra cards into your hand and end of the four rounds you're going to um top up all your points you're going to the way you get points is there's two different ways there's a, a competitive way and there's a less competitive way and the the, the way we played it because we've only played it once and this is a first play forks review so the, the way we played it is, is we played the majority's version so you, you have these random uh, bonus tiles that come out and they tell you how you gain the majority of points and you, you go through you go through that you you lose a cube an action cube every every round so you you your, the amount of actions you can take reduces as the game progresses and you get a point for every egg that you've got on a card you get a point for every card that you've tucked under another card or, and you get points for food that you've cached or cached on on your card so you, and um yeah there's a couple of other scoring ways of scoring things and uh, at the end of the game whoever's got the most points wins and um that's basically how you play wingspan so what do we like about wingspan so the first thing that we've got to mention is the components in this game are absolutely delightful. I mean, you've got the um, plastic eggs, which my wife thought were mini eggs, and she actually thought about going out and buying some mini eggs for the next time that we play this one. And uh, yeah, that's a really nice touch. They're all different colours, so that, that doesn't mean anything, which is a little bit disappointing. We thought there might be some sort of some sort of variety in the different types of eggs that you, you had, but that's not there. And um, you've got that bird tower that acts as a, a dice tower, and you've got the, um, the wonderful you'll play a board on the other side it makes it look like it's sort of a like a leather bound um, wallet of some kind you know and that's that's a really nice thing and it all fits into the box there's no messing about it all fits into the box nicely and um yeah the cards are a really nice quality the manual and the book the appendix has got this nice linen finish and it, above all the component quality is absolutely off the charts and it's astonishing we were blown away by the, by the quality of this one yeah also the um theme itself is quite novel i mean there's probably other bird bird type games out there or bird watching games but we've not played any of them so we were really really intrigued and really interested to get this one to the table because we we were we were hoping it was going to be a, a really good experience and we might actually learn something so um yeah the theme itself was uh, quite novel and uh, we quite enjoyed the uh, sort of a, a variation on what the sort of games that we normally play. Yeah, the way that this game is it's essentially an engine building game with a tableau system as well, you know. So the way that the, the game 
incrementally allows you to, to improve the power and efficiency of your engine. You know, it, it builds, a, builds up at a nice pace. You don't see people running ahead, running away with the game. So it's all, the pacing of the game is, is really, really good. And uh, yeah, that's to be applauded with uh, Wingspan. Yeah, so the fact that the, uh, the amount of actions that you can take becomes more limited as the game progresses, but the options that are available to you become more expansive. It's a, it's a nice little contrast there. Yeah, we really enjoy the fact that you've got this sort of, you get you know, this sort of plethora of, of things you can do, but you, you have to think about your, how many cubes you're gonna have left in the, in the final round to do them. And that's, um, that's really, really, really nice. I mean, it keeps your mind active, makes you, it forces you to plan ahead in this one. And um, yeah, yeah, that's a really, uh, really nice touch, really nice mechanism that we always enjoy in these sort of engine building games. Yeah, the fact this game's uh, really easy to learn, I mean, it's only a, the rule book's only a few pages long, and uh, there's only four actions you could take, it's really easy to explain. We had a bit of trouble with the turn order, we kept forgetting what the, what the turn order meant, and there was a couple of things that we, you know, we kept, for, sometimes we forget to activate the birds and stuff, and various little picky little things in the game but overall it's a really simple game to learn and it's, it plays in, a, in about an hour and a half at tops so it's really really quick and uh, it doesn't take all even it's not a big magnum opus so it's not a it's not a huge strategy game so it's quite a light you know engine building tableau building game and it's, it's it really it really it's really perfect for those those moments when you don't really want anything too heavy or too thinky and um, you just want to have a uh, sit down have a nice relaxing game with a few mates. So what don't we like about Wingspan? Well, to be honest with you, I'm going to be brutally honest with you when, with these cons. It's uh, the, the theme doesn't really tie to the mechanics that well. It's a bit thin because you think, well, what are you actually doing? I know you're bird watching, but you're putting these cards down. For what, what why? I mean, what is, what are you doing? Are you collecting pictures or something? Or, you know, what are these birds are they eggs? But for what reason? I mean, I don't really understand. I mean, you've got these action cubes, but they don't really tie with the theme either. Even though the theme's novel and it's good and it's interesting, there's not really any sort of, the mechanism don't really mean anything in the game. And, that was really disappointing for us. We just thought, well, you know, you're just playing cards down on, on this on this tableau. It becomes like a sort of a, just a stat collection because the birds themselves, it could have been anything. You know, it's like a, it could have been cars or it could have been cities, you know, with population density or whatever, demographics or anything like that. We, essentially, this game is it's sort of like an elaborate game of top trumps in, in a sense because you, you've got these cards with all these stats and you're collecting them, you're putting them out, and you're just you're activating them. So it's like a sort of a, a step up from trumps at the end of the day, and that's that's a bit weird. We found that it's a, we could see through see through the mechanisms. You know, I think that's a pretty good way to put it. Yeah, the random card draw itself. I mean, the fact that you've got this big massive stack of cards, and you're only drawing three out of these, and if if your turn doesn't come around when those bird, when the birds you want are there, you might reveal something that you don't want, and that's no fault of yours. You can't mitigate that you know there's nothing you can do about that and the fact that it's random and I know you can take a blind draw but the fact that the card draws random and the, and the game hinges on the ability to, to to get the right cards into your hand and out onto the, your tableau it's uh, it falls down in that respect there should have been another way a, a fairer way of doing it I, I don't I don't know I'm not a games designer but we did find that to be a little bit weak yeah I mean I'm always I'm always a bit, even even though this game is wonderfully produced, I'm always a bit skeptical when I see the games that have these wonderful components, you know, and I think, what are they hiding? <laughs> and I think that, that if I'm gonna be completely honest with you, and I'm not gonna lie, but this, I think that that's the case with this, it's a case of style over substance. You know, they, they didn't need to put the bird tower in there. They didn't need to have plastic eggs, they could have been tokens. You know, they could have just had the eggs as tokens. And um, the, the card tray doesn't need to be in there. And essentially, really, this game could just have been just a box there, a card game in a, in a small box with a few dice, and that's it. And, it. and that brings me on to the next point, is that this game is far, far too expensive for what it is. You know, the fact you've got games that are kind of similar to this, like Seven Wonders, for like, literally half the price. Yeah, they've got more depth as well. It's, it's, it's a bit of a rip-off, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. And, um, you know, I, I don't know if there's that much re replayability in this one. 
because it, it does hinge around the, the the bird cards and once you've gone through that deck a few times I mean I know we only played it once but once you've gone through that deck, I mean we found it a little bit boring really at the end of the day I mean it's interesting but um, yeah uh, I don't know I don't know what it was it it just seemed to fade away towards the end of, and even though the, the final score is quite exciting because you don't you, you can't it's impossible to know who's, who's won well I thought I'd won but everyone else thought that they won as well but um, yeah it, it's sort of once you get over that initial novelty value there's not really anything hiding underneath the surface that you can not many layers you can peel off with this one and um, yeah it's uh, that's pretty disappointing so to summarize our thoughts of wingspan so wingspan can we recommend this one and I'm afraid we can't really can't really recommend this one there's better games out there that do that are a lot more interesting to, if I'm if I'm honest and um, yeah like like we said it's uh, style over substance this one they've, they've loaded they've loaded the box full of these wonderful components and it's a case of oh, oh this is amazing but once you get beyond that you realize or at least we realize that you don't need the bird tower you don't need the, the card tray you, you don't need to have those plastic eggs you know you could quite easily have put mini eggs out there you know but um and once once you 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 look once you take away the bird aspect of the cars it's just stats that's all it is and you know we found ourselves not not even thinking about the birds it's just oh has it got this has it got this has it got this it doesn't matter it doesn't matter the theme doesn't match the mechanics and it's a real shame that we can't recommend this i mean we're not saying it's a bad game it's it's a mediocre game and um it's it's got i think this is a, a victim of its home hype i think the fact that it was you know it was lauded as a wonderful game and it was in short supply it's pumped up the hype and it doesn't match the hype so i think i don't know if we're going to get rid of it we'll probably give it another go we'll give it another few goes see see what happens and if there's an expansion for this one it changes things up we're, we're you know if we still got it we might pick that up and i think that's what it that's what it needs it needs it needs an expansion to add some some extra depth to this one some extra layers to this one so um yeah that's wingspan um i don't know i'll give it about a five or a six out of ten yeah i don't know it's, it's a bummer so if you enjoyed this video if you thought it was informative if you uh if you want to watch more videos if you want to if you want to subscribe to the channel then do it now you know before you go and make yourself a cheese sandwich or before you go and make yourself a cup of tea just give us a subscribe Give us a, a comment in the in the box down there below and um, we'll see you next time.